every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high, tell them. Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing a couple things around the house. I want to sort through this box. Uh, I'm going to re... Spiders biting the tripod again. I am going to repot the snake plant. I know previously we did them on stair but we didn't do the snake plant. I finally got the pot for the snake plant so we're going to put it in that pot. So yeah, we're going to be doing that and I did also go ahead and buy a kind of like a food for my monstera it's like a little sprayer for my monstera so i'm excited for that i'm not saying that it's dying because it's not i just got it it's, there's no way it's already dying no i'm saying that i just want to make sure that it thrives in the future and i'm going to test out this product that i ordered and then i also got a moss pole for it because i like i know when i first got it it was all tilted down and just all over the place well it needs support so i do kind of want to clean up a bit it's honestly looking very dusty in a lot of areas and a lot of areas that i might have missed because they're not commonly clean and that's my mistake so right now the kitchen is looking pretty crazy real quick i wanted to show you guys a new system that i've established for during the day so as you guys know spider is still on the journey of potty training so i got this bell um it is for christmas it's not the actual one that you would get for your dog but you can get one on amazon for five six dollars but i just saw this for three dollars and i was like hey that works for me and then i got the lanyard and that's how i was able to extend it down because if i would have just got it that that the original one that's just for the door it's not for what's wrong it's not for a dog, so yeah, I improvised. <laughs> that is what my monstera is doing. She is sun tanning right now. And my snake plant is right there. As you guys can see, there was a mess left behind last night after I cooked. Wish I could say every night we clean up after ourselves, but that's just not the case. Not every night. I try to. If you guys have a lot of tasks to get done, come on, let's tackle this together. I'm gonna play some nice music so we can vibe out. Baby, can Y si la cosa se pone tensa, en mi cama la 
Sama que aqui eu tô e Para da parte Posa de crime Baby, que mal Finally done with the kitchen and I left it wet because I'm gonna cook soon so I don't feel like drying it. I think we are done. Now I don't want to make this a cleaning video so I'm not going to sweep and mop and do all that here. There's no better feeling than a clean kitchen. I'm actually gonna reward myself with this candle. I'm gonna turn it on for a little bit. Even Ty said it smells good. Listen y'all, if a man ever says, oh my god, it smells good in here, then it really smells good in there, okay. Speaking of spider, it's actually her food time and I'm pleased to announce that she did react well to the pumpkin and to the peanut butter. So I figured I'm gonna give her a little bit more right now. So with the peanut butter, I don't know. You guys know I don't like peanut butter. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of peanut butter in here. And nobody else in this household likes peanut butter. So if you're thinking that's gross, Give this to her and whatever whatever you guys may think. This is just strictly for her. And then y'all know we got the leftover pumpkin. So I'm going to put some of them there. I'm trying to maybe use all this up for this month. But I feel like we're already too far in. So maybe not. We won't get all this done by this month. But I mean, I'm not in a rush. I don't do that much. And that's it. There she is eating. While we're in the kitchen, I kind of wanted to shoot an idea by you guys. I kind of want to do maybe some homemade spice i don't know like homemade onion powder or garlic powder i've seen a couple videos about it and i don't think they're super complex i don't even i think it's just that i'm lazy i think that would be an interesting video to watch so let me know if you guys would be interested in doing that i think eventually i'll do it regardless um i was also interested in maybe doing a homemade Vanilla extract because I know vanilla extract is so expensive. Trust me. We've gone to three bottles We like making French toast and using it for that and we like to make waffles and use it for that So we use a lot of French toast. I mean we use a lot of vanilla extract So it would be nice to do it homemade, but I saw the process and I know that it takes what, Three months you have to wait like three months for it. I don't know. It's like a whole process which I mean I figured but I was just hoping it wasn't gonna take three months but i mean if i do it that could be exciting honestly so this is the box that i was talking to you guys about so i kind of want to like i just want to go over everything that's in here and see if i want to get rid of anything guys my i don't want to say decoration how do i put it what I like changes so often that I get rid of so many things. You can ask my sister, you can ask my mom, listen. <laughs> At this point, they don't want anything. <laughs> so let's see what I have in here. I know I have some Christmas stuff. I just need to organize this better, and if I can put this somewhere else too, that would be great. I have this, but I don't know if... I had two when I got rid of one, but I don't know. You know what though? This could make like a cute little planter. I could put like a little plant in here and put this outside. I think that would be cute. I have a bunch of these towels for seasons for different seasons and I could put these in the I could put these under my what's it called? Under the sink in the kitchen. So I'm gonna do that. This is the pot that I got from when I was sick. I like it. Uh, the only thing is, I wish it had a hole. Maybe I could drill a hole in it. I don't know if it would be safe for that though. I don't know. And then we got this. You guys know my mom gifted this to me. I could put this under the console table to be honest with you guys. Let me put that there. 
And I should be able to put this bowl under the console table too. I'm not sure if I want to keep this bowl anymore. It's cute. It really is. I don't know, I'm gonna hold off on that decision. Cause I do like it, but like now I just want unique pieces and this is not unique. You know, everybody has this, so. Got this for Easter. This is just a random, this is so random. Okay, I'm getting rid of this. I, I don't, okay, that's random. This is cute. This is me and my mom. Memories. Then I have this candle. This needs to go somewhere else. I know where to put this. So I have this, and I do love it. I do use it, so I'm gonna keep it. Little balls in there. Let's bubble wrap this. I have all this bubble wrap and no safety. This is me and my sister. I could put this in the entrance. You gotta clean it first, but it's me and my sister. And then I have these for whenever I ever get a table. And I'm pretty sure this is a vacuum extension for my vacuum that I got rid of, so you can get rid of this too. Now that leaves us with just this, this, and yes, I'm keeping the bubble wrap because <laughs> this and bubble wrap is expensive. All of this can go in here. a couple of hours later as you guys can hear we're outside so you guys can see this one i think has weaker roots a lot of these look fragile and the rule is basically if you can pull it and they come off then don't keep them so that's what i'm gonna do i know you guys saw me do that with the other plant so i won't keep you here too long but i'll do a little bit of it so you guys can see what i did was i emptied the soil that was in here we have our new pot right here with the dirt already in there. Excuse my fuzzy socks. I'm already in that time. Guys, I can't make this up. Look. What are you doing? That's a little plant thing that I bought for the water. Of course. tied these together and that's just this part and then there's this part that was also tied together with an elastic band y'all see that right there and these roots are bad y'all like these roots need help i feel like they can come together but i mean i don't know is that normal how they branch out like that this extending out like that that is totally normal i just wasn't sure it didn't look normal to me but this would have been right if they would have combined it all and put it in a rubber band because that's, that's one of the things you can do. Now, I'm not going to be doing that, but you can do that with the ribbon. This didn't make sense because I did it with two separate ones. So, it just seemed kind of like a sloppy job. So, we're going to cut that. You don't have to cut off the bat roots. You can see it's bat roots. You see that black stuff? That should not look like that. But, if we let it dry out completely, it should come back and it'll be okay. And, 
Lucky for us, there is enough roots there for us to work with. I got rid of a lot, a lot of roots. They were so weak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lot of the soil in here because I need to make sure that I have space for my snake plant. Oh shit. So I put a little bit of dirt in there and now I'm gonna cut all the rubber bands on the snake plants, both of them. Now it may look like I know what I'm doing, but I'm also learning with you guys, so please don't be mean in the comments, guys. I am learning. And again, this is what the roots look like one last time. So let me go ahead and cut this up, and it's gonna fall apart, obviously, because that's what it was keeping it together. And what you want to do is you want to fill up the dirt, the rest of the dirt, but you don't want to get it in between the little leaf, the cracks of the leaves, if that makes sense. It's looking so good already. Oh, looks so good already. Bam, falls over. Oh, oh shoot, I should have sprayed it with hydrogen peroxide. Well, that's my fault. I don't feel like taking it out, but if you have root rot, it's good to spray with hydrogen peroxide. That way it dis disinfects the root rot. I forgot an entire thing. How could, okay. Okay, you know what? I guess that's a sign. Let me take it out and then clean it with the hydrogen peroxide. Got the hydrogen peroxide. I'm honestly not sure I'm gonna spray this because I don't really have a sprayer. Oh my god, finally, okay. You hear the doggy? What's the doggy saying, Spider? What's the doggy saying? Stop eating our plants. They help us. Is that what they're saying? So we're inside the house. And I decided I'm gonna put some ribbon on it. You might wanna use something stronger than this, but this is all I have right now, so this is what I'm gonna use. So we're gonna leave it like that. Now, it's not gonna be the most prettiest plant for now. I mean, although the, the ribbon is pretty, but you want them all to get acquainted with each other. That way they form roots together, and that's why I'm doing it. But if it was already a whole plant, I don't think you have to do it. But if you had the issue that I was having that it was tilting over, you could put a little stick and then connect the whole thing as well. I mean, so I guess technically it's the same thing, so you just decide what you wanna do. Hopefully it is good. Now I did read after repotting, should I water it or not? You know, I don't know. I'm like, mm, that's a little iffy for me. Should I, should I not? They said to wait because technically this is a shock for them and they need to get used to this and they already don't need a lot of water. So it just said to hold off for about two weeks. But I mean, you do as you please with your plants. I am gonna wait and see what goes on. Obviously, if I'm not doing something right, it'll tell me. Plants will always tell you if something's wrong, okay? You just have to look at the signs. And lastly, I added some fertilizer as well. Now, I did see that the best soil to get is cactus soil. I'm not sure what soil my stepdad gave to me, but that's the one I'm using. And it should be good, but, you know, these are on the drier side, so if you really want to follow it to the T and make sure that your plant survives, I would say get the cactus soil. Now, the last thing that we're going to be doing before I let you guys go is we are going to steam my curtains. Now, I did iron them, but there's only so much you can do with ironing curtains are this long, you know? So, they need some help. We're going to use this Con Air today, and I've already removed the little water case all you do is just literally pull this up and it'll come out so i'm glad i looked it up because it said not to use tap water it's best to use distilled water it said to give it i think it says 60 seconds give it a minute for it to kind of warm up the water and then you can use it. you open this little hole right here and this is where you're gonna put the water it's a little hole so bam Simple as that. And I believe it should let me know whenever it's ready. So it's not ready yet because it's still blinking. This says ready right here, if you guys can't see it. And then here that says turbo. 
I saw a lot of videos of people using turbo, so I'm gonna try that out. This is what my curtains look like before. Y'all see all the wrinkles? Ugh. All right, it's ready and it's already doing its job. You guys might not be able to see it the best because it's so far, but. For me, unfortunately, I'm gonna say that it's really not working and it is heavy, okay? I feel like it's not working. I saw in one video somebody use a sprayer, like a anti-wrinkle before they started using this. So maybe I just need to buy that and try this again. But for now, it's kind of pointless. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are thinking of starting your plant journey, start small. Okay, start small. I have built up from when I first started, which was about, I started sometime two years ago, but then I let them all die. I just wasn't a good plant mom, and now I'm serious about it, and I'm dedicated, and it's going well so far. I know that this may not be for everyone, but it has great benefits, you guys, so make sure to check that out. That being said, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.